Hey everyone, it's Melissa here to plan in my happy memory keeping planner. So um, this week is going to take a teeny tiny break from Christmas and I'm actually going to be memory planning um, the week of our 10 year anniversary. Um, it was the week that we got married or sorry, it was our three year wedding anniversary, but uh, 10 years of being together. So we had a little bit of a celebration, although it was kind of, it was pretty much how we celebrate every year. And that's just because we spend the day together. And then thankfully this year it was a Saturday, so we didn't have to kind of skip out on work, but we just spent the day together. We went out for a couple nice meals and we just went for a walk. So first let me just erase off these dates and then I'm going to add it in. So um, I'm going to link below how I get started in my memory planning process. So obviously first I have to print the photos. I do that using my Canon selfie and I'll just kind of do an in-depth video as to how I get started with that. I did that before and um, yeah, this is probably definitely my favorite planner. I'm horribly behind in it, but um, it just, it makes me happy to have all of these memories. I kind of stick it underneath a coffee table, so it's it's a conversation piece in our home. So it's definitely my favorite thing to just look back and to see these memories. And I am going to go ahead and glue these photos down. I'm going to be using Tombow Mono Adhesive. So I kind of, um, while I'm thinking about what stickers to use, I'll just lay it out how I want it to look. And um, keeping that in mind, I can kind of decorate around it. Now this week, obviously, it's kind of close to Christmas. So I didn't want to celebrate it with Christmas themes or colors. But instead, I kind of wanted to focus on it being our anniversary. So... Um, I have pulled out some farmhouse stickers and I am going to be spelling out Decade of Love using some of my favorite font stickers from the Happy Planner. So this week was just kind of light. Now I'm sure that I did other things, but I figure it would be nice to kind of just focus on one central event this week. So that's why I decided to do that. Now that they're all down, I'm just going to keep erasing this and I'm going to start spelling out what I had planned. I'm going to spell out decade. Actually, let me first spell out uh, love. So I'm going to put love over here using this font. I was so sad to um, hear about, well, not really sad, but I wish I got to take advantage in that Mambi warehouse sale. If I did get to go, the only thing I'd really want to buy would be all of the font stickers just because I love them and I think that they are just so useful for things like this or even just uh, regularly in your week spread or if you were doing any other types of arts and crafts, it's just so useful. So just gonna spell out love. I just grabbed the letters. I love these watercolor font too. Okay, now I'm going to spell out decade. I decided to use this font because it's, it's pretty neutral um, and I really like the script of it. There's some in the alphabet, but I don't know if I really liked it too much. And I also like how big these are. So as per usual, I just like to stick it 
kind of along the edge of a ruler. That way I can kind of figure out my spacing and then figure out um, making sure to get them straight. So these ones I'm going to space out a little bit just because I know they're going to be taking up a huge area of space. So that's why. Oh, I said space so much for right now. <laughs> but I'm just going to have it a little bit further apart then squishing them all together so that the letters are touching, which is what I usually do. And then for the word of, I might just quickly write it or try to letter that. I feel kind of bad that there's only one D left. Like, I feel like that's a D emergency, but... <laughs> going to put this here. I kind of wanted to add the of in like a really do it in big lettering. I don't know if, how, how I'm going to be able to do that because I'm not the best letterer, but I will try. Okay, and I'm going to put of. So I have a big brush pen. I haven't done this in a while, so this is probably going to be a bit rough, but let's try. Um, that's fine. That'll do. And I am going to, there was this one sticker in the holidays sticker book that I really liked. It was the anniversary page. And I think I'm going to add this anniversary sticker as well. I just love this one. The best thing to hold on to life is each other. Just love that. And then since there's kind of a photo down here, I thought I would even that out by sticking one up here or something up here. So I'll just offset this a little bit. It's harder to do this just because it is a clear sticker. Okay. And um, what I also wanted to do is to just kind of talk about how the day went. So I picked out one of these. Um, first of all, this is how I store my journaling stickers. This is from the Be Happy box last year. So I just kind of put them there. And then these are the half sheets that I got from other things. So this is colored and then um, one is white to just kind of differentiate as they're going between different packs. So I think I'm going to use this one actually. I really like this. And then I might embellish it with some of these uh, farmhouse florals. And then that way I can just kind of flip and open it and journal about the day. I might actually just do that later just because I really feel like it won't affect. And I think I'm going to layer some florals underneath it before I lay that down. I'm debating whether or not to go for rose gold or to go for the brighter florals. Yeah, I'm still thinking about it. I'm debating these ones. These ones or using the, these bright ones. And I think I'm just going to go with the rose gold. I'm going to stick some of these above. And then I'll layer that box sticker right underneath it. So let me just stick. Yeah, I think I'm actually going to go for this one. I really like this too. So I'm going to stick a couple of these on the back. And that way I can just layer it down flat. And then I'm going to journal about how our day went later. I just like that so that it'll close like this kind of and then I can just flip it open and see how the day was. And then I saw some really cute quotes in here that I wanted to use. I really like the one that says home is wherever I'm with you. I thought that would be a nice little anniversary quote. Home is wherever you are. I love that. I wasn't planning on adding this much stuff to this spread but... I just think this is so cute. 
And then I'm going to put this happy anniversary um, right above here. Yeah, actually I might stick it kind of going this way. Yeah, I'm gonna layer the little point right on. Add some florals on this side just to kind of balance that out. So I think I'm gonna add this super long one over here. And I'll just do kind of one of these smaller ones hanging off the edge there. I'm gonna journal in there about how our day was and I think I'm just going to stop here. I really like the simplicity of this. So I'll just kind of do that off camera. I'm trying to simplify more these happy memory keeping spreads and not to have them to be super long and drawn out. And part of that means not taking a lot of time to film which is I think good overall. So I end up using the student sticker book. I use the farmhouse sticker book, the holidays sticker book. This is the older happy memory keeping one. And then I use these Mambi sticks um, to write love. And then finally I used the dates and holidays sticker pack in order to date it above. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video. I truly do appreciate it. If you like this video, I hope you'll click like. If you have any questions, comments, feel free to leave them below. If you don't want to miss any of my videos, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Thank you so much for watching. I truly do appreciate it.